Sitting for long periods of time is a leading cause of tight hip flexors because their job is to flex the hip. And when you sit for a long time, these muscles can get really tight. Also, if these muscles are really tight and sore, they can cause trigger point referral down the front of the thigh by a muscle called the iliopsoas, which is just a fancy name for hip flexor. I'll have patients come to my clinic stating they have sciatic pain while rubbing the front of their thigh, but the trigger point from the sciatic pain generally runs down the back of the thigh from a muscle called the piriformis, and I have another video to address the sciatica syndrome. Massaging the iliopsoas or the hip flexor can be a little bit challenging and a bit uncomfortable. The psoas attaches here to the pelvic bone and down to this thigh bone, as well as the front of the spine. So you people are familiar with low back muscles right here on the back of the spine, but just like you have muscles on the front of your neck, you also have low back muscles attached to the front of the spine. So let's do this. With the Theracane, you'll want to find that bone, drop off, and then push down. If that's too sensitive, you could bend the legs and put the knees together and relax that muscle more with that and shorten it a bit, and that'll decrease the pain levels. And just find the hip, drop off, push down. Hold for 10 or 15 seconds, breathing into the stretch because it could be a bit sensitive. I'm going to straighten my legs so you can see it a little better. Then find that pelvic bone again, drop off, and then push down. And then for the spinal part of the iliopsoas, find your belly button. Drop over about an inch and then press down. And you're going to go about three inches below the belly button, just pressing into that muscle and three inches above the belly button. One way to find out if you're on the muscle is just to lift the leg up a bit and you should feel the tension in that psoas area. You could also massage this muscle in a stretch, and this could be very intense, but very beneficial. You're gonna put your foot on the table, drop this leg off. Now I have a stretch of that psoas. Find the pelvic bone, drop off, use two hands and push down. Find the pelvic bone, drop off, use two hands and push down. Again, you can repeat that along the spinal aspect of this muscle as well. Perform this massaging for about five or 10 minutes. And then you may wanna ice this area down for 20 minutes every hour if you end up massaging in there a lot. To stretch this muscle, there's two ways to stretch this muscle lying face up. Put the feet together close to the buttocks and then just open the legs. This is called in yoga a butterfly stretch. And then the bottom of your feet should be touching. At this point, you can observe your legs and let's say this is the thigh that was maybe bothering you or tight. Then you would notice that this thigh will be up a little bit and then just settle into the stretch. You can even help this stretch out by pushing down with your palms. Just hold it for one, two, three minutes and just relax. Another stretch is the figure four stretch and that butterfly stretch might be a little bit too intense and so you may wanna do one leg at a time. Straightening out the right leg, put the outside of the left ankle just above the knee and drop the knee down. And once again, you can help by pushing down with the same side hand. And hold this for about a minute or two and then switch. Straighten the left leg, 
Bring the outside of the right ankle just above the left knee, and once again, drop it down. And you'll notice one side or the other will be a little bit tighter, and that'll give you the indication of which side you wanna stretch more. So another stretch is the Cobra stretch, or just coming to your elbows like this. And with this stretch, you wanna keep that pelvis planted firmly on the table, bed, floor, wherever you're doing the stretch. And see if you can come up a little bit with the stretch. And if it hurts the low back, it means maybe you have some arthritis in the spine. So go ahead and peel back on that to the point where it's not painful. And you can even hold this one for you know, 10 minutes while you're watching TV or reading a book. And then another stretch lying on your stomach, and this is the mother load of stretches, and not everybody's gonna be, do, be able to do this, but drop that one leg off, leaving this other leg in the back straight, and then arch your body up. And then switch sides and do the other side. Dropping this leg forward, this one back and straight, and then just arch the back up, keeping that pelvis firmly down. So sitting eight hours at a computer desk is the leading cause of hip flexor tightness. And you can stretch right at your desk by just dropping this leg behind like that, the affected leg, let's say this is the one that's tight, and stretching back like so. If your chair has arms on it, you may just have to go down to the ground and just do a hip flexor stretch like this. So this would be stretching the right side, and then this would be stretching the left side. And you may want a pillow under the knee if you have a little tenderness, or you can always stand and stretch the hip flexors like this, dropping this one back. I'm stretching the right hip flexor right now, keeping the legs straight, and then stretching the left hip flexor. We will be launching a new YouTube video every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. And I'll be available for any questions you have or suggestions for future videos.